Hello Brigadiers and Brigadettes, this is your captain speaking. Welcome to my channel, now let's jump into some hockey content. Yes, it's me again with another video, possibly coming at you with two more videos later tonight. But if you are new, please make sure to subscribe and then give this video a like if any of you enjoy this. And we're going to be doing the review of the Florida Panthers versus the Tampa Bay Lightning. And yeah, let's just jump on in. So the Lightning have won the series against the Florida Panthers as they beat Florida in six games and avoided a potentially dangerous Game 7 back at home. For the Lightning, they haven't lost a series for five straight rounds and it appears that they will either play Nashville or Carolina. Not appears, they will, but my computer was weird there. For the Panthers, it feels like you are stuck in a never-ending cycle of pain as the Panthers fought hard but still haven't won a playoff round since 1996. I was born in 2000, so I have not seen the Panthers actually win a playoff series unless it's been a replay. So, it's been a minute. Kudos to the Panthers, though, for even lasting six games. I know that the Lightning are a really good team, a dominant team, but I think a big story we're going to have to talk about here for the Panthers is the goaltending, and that is huge. Sergei Bobrovsky is not the guy anymore, and he had a terrible series, posting the wor the eighth worst goal save above average in the second fewest amount of time on ice, meaning he was not on the ice a lot, and he was terrible when he was on there. Now, I know he is a person, so I'm not going to try to be too hard on him um, and say he's, you know, you suck as a person or whatever, but in hockey terms, he had a rough series. Now, Chris Drieger... Also struggled in that too. It's not what I expected. I at least expected him to do better than he did. But it happened. And the Panthers turned to a very young and exciting prospect, Spencer Knight. And in Game 5, he delivered staving off the elimination. At least for another game. Was it a tough Game 6 for Knight? Yes, he allowed 3 goals on 20 shots. But I think that the uh, Panthers might see that they need to find a way to get Bobrovsky out of here off the team. It's uh, something where I don't think they're going to be able to send him down to the AHL for cap reasons, but they're going to have to do a trade, I think, even if they had to eat half of his salary. At least getting the $5 million off the books and him out of there would be huge. Uh, you're going to have to send a player or picks along, players potentially, I don't know. But if they could offload his salary in a trade, that'd be huge. You'd have Drieger and Knight in that. Life would be a lot better for the Panthers if that was the case. No, I don't want to overhype Spencer Knight. Because he did only start in two playoff games, but I will say, I like what I saw. So, maybe Spencer Knight gets a few more starts next year. We'll see. Now, the second thing we'll be talking about is Nikita Kucherov. And he lit up the Panthers, posting 11 points in six games. Seven of those points came off the power play. Three goals, four assists, three of those being primary assists. And Kucherov was a big reason that the Lightning's power play was clicking 8 for 18 on the series as he logged the second most minutes on the power play for Tampa Bay. Now I know a lot of people are mad because he was allowed to come back for the playoffs, but it is what it is. You can either suck it up and try to contain him, or you can complain about it. And winners win, and losers make excuses. That's how it goes, and that's just the fact of the matter. And I think the Panthers did a really good job not saying, oh, that's unfair. I think that they took it head on, and I'm glad they did. And now for the Panthers, it was a wonderful regular season. And they know they can be a good team. So now they have to put it together again next year. Because they've been un inconsistent over the years. They're going to have to figure out, we can do this consistently. For the Lightning, it's another series win for a well-oiled Tampa Bay machine. They have won seven rounds in the past four years. And they have the potential to make it ten. What do you think of the series? Let me know down below. But also, before we wrap it up, two things I wanted to say. First is that I didn't get the videos out yesterday right after the series were over and there's a good reason. It was my wife's birthday and I have wanted to talk about this before. I'm going to try to put out as much videos as possible, hopefully make this my job one day. But at the end of the day, when it's holidays, stuff like that, that is going to be almost like a vacation time. I'm not saying I'm taking two weeks off, but when it's my wife's birthday, when it's Christmas, stuff like that, I'm going to spend time with her, my family, things like that. I love this job, but at the end of the day, I have a personal life as well. Just wanted to let you know that. There is no reason I should ever do a video on my wife's birthday because it is about her. It is her day. And the second thing is we will be putting out those videos later today 
No, that wasn't the second thing. The second thing is there's a carnival or something going along uh, across from my apartment. And I apologize, that's going to be lasting for about a week if that gets in the way of making noise during our videos, anything like that. Um, or if anybody says anything rude on air, it is not me. We have we live in a pretty meh area and there's not a lot of great people. So I'm worried about, you know, people ruining the video just because they see my uh, studio from my apartment. So I apologize for that. But yes, my family, my wife, everybody comes first. Uh, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. But at the end of the day... Christmas, my birthday, stuff like that. You know, it's about family. It's about the people you love. And I think most of you will get that. So that's all for today. Maybe we could have two more videos with those elimination games. But everybody, stay safe. Have a great day. Stay away from COVID, all right? Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.